Hello guys, and welcome back to another MCRD tutorial. So today we're finally going to be covering the custom door to, um, well, the thing that I've been promoting on my channel for a while. Uh, basically larger doors, you can do regular doors with them. You, uh, you can change the size to whatever your size that you really need or want. Um, yeah, so it's basically just like a regular door. It's just um, larger, <laughs> a lot larger. And um, it's configurable, so it's really easy to set up with the script that I provided. I'm not going to be covering how to make the script because that would just be nuts. It's really long, and there's like 36 procedures or something like that in order just to make this because of all the different rotations for the door and stuff like that. However, um, when you place the door down, um, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... <laughs> Let's try that angle. Yeah, that angle works. I'm not sure why that's... I'll have to get the code from my door uh, project that I'm working on and redo that. What what angle is that on? Uh, that is west reversed, so I'll have to look at that. Uh, yeah, so we have the... Basically, if you look at a certain angle, like this one here, it will basically place down the door here like on that hinge so open and close based on that hinge uh there is a little bit of a delay um for the door itself so if you try to open and right close it it will kind of delay a little bit reason for that is it will need to actually have a timer so it doesn't automatically open and close i've noticed one thing with the hinge blocks um if it doesn't have a delay it will open and close at the same time so it supports all the different rotations so this rotation over here you can do that rotation and again all the different rotations so that side reverse side and then we also have the north and and i think this is north this is south, so south and north. So we're facing north, it's facing south. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly fix up that script right here. Uh, I have a feeling that it probably has to do with the um, placement script, so I'll just quickly take a look at what it is. So it's, uh, I know that it's the reverse part on the west side, and I'll fix that up quickly. And then I'll cut back in. All right, I just wanted to quickly show that it's working now. So it just has to do with a uh, variable that I forgot to set um, for the reverse part. So as you can see, it will properly be set up now. And this is the West uh, West regular version, and this is the rest west uh, reversed version so you can see that it's working so all right so uh let's go into m crater i'll kind of cover down um basically the folder structure of the example and then we'll start building it from scratch now this will be a longer video so i will break it up into parts but uh again it's just something that i will not be able to fit into something really short it's going to either take a long time to do a video on it in this series or it's going to um just be a really long video so I, i'm opting in for a long video so it's all in just one thing and then i'll use chapters to actually specify what parts so uh, again in the description there will be a bunch of chapters like with timestamps of different parts of where the procedures and stuff are um all right so let's go into M creator I'll just kind of give you a rough draft of how things are configured so we have the blocks these are the three different types of blocks that we have we have a hinge hinge reverse so that's what the R stands for and our door base so the door base is basically the part that you saw that was not worth the hinge parts uh, the reverse part is um, I believe on the right hand side where the hinges are located where the regular hinge is on the left side. So that doesn't really matter too much. You just need to make sure that you have your texture set up and uh, that you have the similar property set up for the procedure. So your hinge will need um, a couple different things. You need your texture, you need the hinge model. I'll provide the models that I created in the description as well as a bunch of textures 
uh, that have quickly whipped up for different door types and stuff like that. I'm actually using them for my own mod that I'm working on. Um, I might do a quick showcase uh, a little later on at the end of the video. And then you want a item texture for your hinge. Now this is only for the hinge itself, not the hinge reverse. Uh, you don't need an item texture for the hinge reverse. Uh, you need it set on cutout, and if you want it to be waterloggable, uh, I added support for that as well. So you can check this and that box down here if you want it to be uh, waterloggable. And then there is the size. So the size is all across all three different doors. So it's 0, 0, 0, 16, 16, 4. So those are the size for the models that I created. Uh, for the rest of this, uh, you can put it under whatever creative tab. Uh, wood doors have generally a 2.5, I believe, I think it's 2.5, um, hardness and resistance. Uh, then you want to basically, after you create all your items and, or your blocks and stuff like that, what you want to do is you want to set your creative pick item to the hinge door. This is going to be important because you're going to want to basically point to that door when it's broken and stuff like that and if well not when it's broken but when the player right clicks on it so it gives them the the regular uh item to basically place it down that's just kind of like a visual difference for uh the door item and you don't really want to be placing down a half a door block so if you want to use a, a custom item that's probably the best thing also just make sure to link it to your main hinge door or it's going to run into a little bit of issues. So again, set your sound properties. You can set all these other properties however you like. Uh, you will need a take rate of five. Uh, this is important for the delay as well as a few other things. Uh, the color, uh, you can set to whatever you want on the map. And the only other thing that you will need to set is the AI uh, path node f type. So basically I have set this to blocked. Uh, this is across for all three different blocks. The only thing that is really required uh, for just the hinge itself is this uh, particular um, item texture, really. Everything else is pretty much straight across the board. So other properties are all the same pretty much. And then we have enabled MBT data. So basically, uh, we have an inventory, but we don't actually have any slots. So I've disabled the slots. I've used MBT tags in the script. So we'll need to make sure to you check this part right here. And then we have um, just basically disabled these two checkboxes and I've left the max stack size to 64. So again, th the only thing that you really need to do is check this and uncheck these and set the inventory to zero. Uh, forge fluid energy and or forge energy and fluid storage I didn't even use it so we don't need it uh, you will need a couple procedures we'll get into that in a little bit but we have a right click procedure for this one a when block is placed this is only for the actual hinge block that we're currently uh, demonstrating uh, however, the, both hinge blocks have the update tick as well as all three blocks have the right click on uh, right click event or trigger itself. So we'll cover that in a little bit. Uh, generation, there isn't any generation. So again, just to kind of confirm the reverse part, we have just the update tick and the right click event. All the other settings should be the same. You can literally duplicate the block and it will pretty much set it up after you get the hinge block set up. So again, all this, the same properties and stuff like that. Uh, you want to update your model though for the door hinge R, which is the reversed version. And the door base, uh, door base obviously. Oh, one other thing you will need to do for all your doors is set the Y rotate, ro Y rotate, the rotation for Y axis to South, West, North, East, uh, this is on the player side. This is actually really important for all your different block models because if this isn't enabled, it's not going to rotate properly. So make sure this all your blocks have this particular feature enabled for that. Um, again, all the different settings are pretty much, or all the settings are pretty much the same. So 
go to the triggers we just have the right click on one for the base one so that's that and then we have a couple tags uh we need valid uh oak whatever door that you want and then valid placement so this is basically blocks that it can basically replace in i've set all the different types of plants in this one um i won't go into a complete list you can configure it however you want uh, but you will need air and if you're using water logging then you will need water uh, those are the two important things that you actually need so set all the different air blocks and set all the different water blocks as far as the other things uh, those are optional I've just set it set all the different plants like grass and stuff if the door has obstruction that isn't in this list it's going to basically break the door uh, when it's trying well I don't think it breaks the door it depends if you're trying to place it or not so if you're placing it it will break the door and drop the item if you are trying to open it it just won't open it will kind of make a sound it will like try to wiggle a little bit and it won't be able to open the door so anything that isn't in this list it will have conflict with actually opening and using the door so if you want uh, certain things to be exempt from basically blocking the door you want to add it to this list uh, the other thing that we're doing is we have another tag which is just for our door blocks so these are important and then what we have is our, all our procedures so we have our right click procedures um, block place procedures block broken this is a global procedure set so we'll be covering that in a little bit and then our update tick so we'll start with right click so we have our open and closed ones this is where it gets really complicated because there's a whole bunch of different parts and stuff like that but um basically this is the main one that we run everything through this is connected to all three doors and that or door blocks and then we have our open ones and then the directions for that now inside those folders what we have is the regular rotation as well as a reverse rotation now this is for the open one uh, if we go to the closed one we also have north and then open and reverse so basically what those do is it tells the door what rotation to open and all that other fun stuff when you right click on it so in those uh, particular procedures um, I'll just open up the north one because it's pretty much structured this way through most of the procedures it's pretty straightforward you want to add your uh, valid placement uh, tag for valid um, blocks that it can replace uh, with that tag name up here you'll probably have to change the namespace of the tag as well as the tag itself for your mod to configure that uh, you can pretty much leave these two the same uh, there is a door ID the reason for that is if I were to place multiple doors next to each other uh, what would happen is it would basically try to um, open all of the doors and the the door ID is something that happens when we place the door and it will generate a new ID for uh, the door something like I don't know tons of different combinations it would be really rare for a door to actually uh, be the same ID so if that does happen I mean congrats I guess but uh, you can leave these two uh, variables pretty much the same uh, it doesn't matter it's just there for customization if you want to if there's a case that it needs to be customized but in most cases it should be fine the way it is uh, then you have your uh, block states these are basically telling what blocks that uh, for your door again everything that you need to edit has question marks on it so if you click on the question mark it will list what the uh, things are for and you can basically set them up how you want this one will say hinge re reversed block so basically we know that this has to be a reverse block uh, the hinge is just a regular hinge and then we have our block base so again this will vary depending on what files these three are usually in the files uh, if not then it's just these two and depending on what kind of procedure that you have you might have to configure these up a different way and then we have our height and width so this is the height and width of the door so you can configure this however you like uh, height is how 
tall the door is. Uh, we have it configured for this for three by three. Uh, width is basically how um, how many blocks to the um, side it actually goes. So in our case, it's a three by three door. If you wanted to make a regular door, you would just set this to two and the width to one, and then there you go. You do that through all your wonderful procedures, and that will configure the door to be like a regular door. So, yep, yeah, that's basically it. You can also go down as small as a one by one door. Uh, this number does have to be in the positives. If you use negative numbers, it will run into issues. So, that's pretty much that. Um, again, it's pretty straightforward across the board, but all those procedures get called in from this particular thing here. We're running it on server side, obviously, because it's a server. Uh, well, not really server, but it's um, a game update thing. It's happening on the block side, so we didn't really need to test for client. And I just wanted to make sure that it runs pretty smoothly. So we'll cover all that as we're building it. I just wanted to showcase those few things. And again, all these different things here are basically set up for the different parts. So we'll start with the uh, door. I'm just going to move that over to my other screen. And then we can start working on actually building the procedure. So the first thing that we need is the blocks, obviously. We'll set up the tags, and then we will start working on the procedures. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is actually import the textures for our blocks. I'm going to be making a, uh, we'll go with maybe an acacia door. So I have the doors here, then we have the uh, textures, and then we'll go with acacia. And then we need to import both of these for blocks. And then we need one item texture for our actual acacia door. So again, there's all the different types of wood types, even the um, that new wood type that was added in 1.19. So there's that, and then we need to import our JSON models. So if we go back to models, and then we have these ones, so we have our door base. And then what we want to do is select our texture for our base one. And then we need to import the other one, so hinge. And then we're going to select the hinge texture. And then we have hinge reversed. So this one is basically for the reversed version. So we're just going to select that. So that's all the assets that we need to set up. Now we can go ahead and create our three blocks. I'm going to create a folder called blocks first so we can keep it a little bit organized. You might even want to put this door project in its own folder just so it's easier to find. So we're going to need three blocks. We're going to call this one um, hinge. Actually, we'll go with base first. Uh, yeah, we'll go with base and then we'll just go ahead with, um, actually we'll set our texture in a sec. We'll go with the base one, set a rotation to that, set it to cutout, and I'm gonna enable um, water logging for this example, and then we're gonna select our texture. And we don't need anything else on here. Bounding box, this should be set to four, I think. And everything else is fine. And then we have the tab that we wanted under. I'm going to set this to wood for the material. And I'm going to just update the um, display name for the door to door base. And set this to 2.5 and 2.5. That should be under the redstone tab generally. Uh, as far as other things, we can set that to that. Uh, let's see, that should be fine. We'll set that there, axe. And uh, we don't have the block yet, so we'll just disable the dropping because that's important so it doesn't drop all the different types of blocks. And then we'll set up the thing later on when we get the hinge all set up. So uh, you might want to set the um, color to something of the door. There's different colors depending on what doors. So I think a case is Adobe. And then we want to set our tick rate. I don't know if, uh, let me just go onto the other screen and check to see if the base actually has a tick rate. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but yeah, it doesn't. Not the base one, but the other ones do. And then we want our pathfinding to blocked. 
tile entity, we want to enable that, disable these, set that to zero. And then triggers, we're going to set that up in a little bit. Uh, we don't actually have the procedure yet, so we'll set that later. And then we can save that, and then we can duplicate this to hinge. And we'll create a new hinge one. We'll set this to our regular hinge, and then update the texture, and then add our item texture here. And then what we need to do is we need to go to properties, set the create a pick item, and we're gonna basically just call this um, whatever door that we want. This will be the display name for the door, so we could go Acacia large door and that will be what is displayed when we hover over the item so this needs to be set to five and then everything else should be fine we do need to create our right click procedure and for now i'm going to basically just save that i will go back to that in a little bit and then we need to when block is placed by, so we're gonna need one of those as well. And save that, go back that to that in a little bit. And then we need the update tick, so this one's important. So we're going to basically go ahead and save that as well, and then we'll get back to that in a little bit. All right, so once you've done that, you can just save. Uh, there's no generation, so we're fine there. And we're gonna just move those procedures into our main folder for now. And we're going to duplicate that and then we're going to set up hinge r for reversed and we need to set our reversed item or block we can get rid of the item we don't need that uh, everything else on that page is configured uh, you can go back to saying door hinge reverse that or whatever you want to call it uh, that should be set up already, so you don't need to worry about it if you duplicated it. And we actually don't want this block under the any tab because it shouldn't be. Uh, we don't really need it to be displayed or anything. Uh, tick rate still needs to be the same. Uh, that should be fine. We don't need the placed one for this. Uh, we just need update tick and right click for the reversed one. And whoop, save that and then we'll go ahead and update our base one as well. So again, we don't need this actually under a tab because it's just the base texture. Uh, we do need to update the create a pick item to the hinge block though. Outside of that, everything else is pretty much consider configured outside of the right click event. So once you've done that, uh, we can just save that part. Everything's configured ready to go uh, we can create a new folder for procedures and we'll stick these three procedures in there and then we'll make th uh, four other folders we want um, right click we want um, placed by and then we want update tick Trust me, doing these folder things will save a lot of time for finding things. And then block broken. So once you've done that, just put the respective procedures in those folders. So that one's the right click, that one's the placed, and this one's the update tick. So we'll start with the right click as it's the one with the most um, procedures itself. I'll cover how to configure everything and stuff like that. So we're going to need to make a new folder called open in the right click folder and closed. So closed. Um, might even want to make sure that it's alphabetically organized. So closed is at the top and open is at the bottom. And then inside those you're going to need folders for north, east, south and west and then you need to basically do that for the opened one as well so north south east 
Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll just move the south into east and then back into the open folder and then we'll go west. All right, so the folder structure for this is set up. Uh, what we need to do is actually start importing the models or the procedures. So if we go to uh, create new procedure and then we're going to call this one uh, right click. Actually, let's go ahead and just duplicate the right click procedure. And then we have the name displayed. So hinge on block right clicked. And then we want um, closed north. And then we're going to copy that tag because we're going to need to duplicate it as well. And then we're going to put that in the closed folder under north. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and duplicate that. And then we're going to put a R at the end for the reversed version. And we're going to do that for all of the closed versions. So we're going to do east, south, and west and make sure that all the closed versions and then when we get to the open part, we're just going to change the closed to open. And then we'll be able to set up those in the same particular order. So I'll cut back in once I've got all the procedures set up. And then we'll go ahead and start importing. And then I'll show you how to do that for these particular things. All right, so let me do that quickly. Okay, so once you got the right click folders all set up and the procedures, you should have two per folder. So two north, two east, two south, two west for the closed. And two in the open one, you ha should have two, 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 and two. So again, there should be the, um, the direction as well as the, um, the rotation or the type of block that it is, so the open state as well as if it's reversed or if it is regular, um, like the open part or not reversed. So those are the parts that you will need. Uh, so we'll start with the closed one. I'll kind of show you how to set that up. You'll need to do this for all of them. I have all the procedures set up in this particular folder structure. So if we right click on the north one, uh, this is for closed. So we're going to go in import. And then we're going to go to procedures in the example workspace, go to right clicked, closed, north, and then we want to select the one that says closed for the one that isn't reversed and then the reversed one for the one that is. So this is again, not the reversed one. We don't have an R there, so we can just import that. And then we're gonna drag that onto here. And then the only thing that we really need to update is basically our tag here. We haven't made the tag yet, so we will in a little bit. And then we need to set up the block. So this one requires hinge R, which is ver, ver, the reversed hinge and the base. So we're gonna select those for what we need. Uh, again, this is the reverse, this is the hinge, and this is the base. So depending on what order that you actually set it up, uh, if you set it up in a specific order, uh, you might want to make sure that it's a little bit easier to set up in that process. Uh, now would be a good time to start uh, figuring out what size of door you want. Um, if you want a 3x3, three three, then it's already configured for that. If you want something like a 2x3, like um, 2 wide and 3 tall or whatever, then you can configure it now. Uh, we'll set this actually to 2 wide so we can actually demonstrate how that works. Everything else below that is not relevant. So again, all this is taking into consideration. The only configuration that you do need to set up is this part up here. So we will need to set a tag. Our namespace is custom doors. So we're gonna need to update that to custom doors. Custom doors uh, for underscore. And then we're going to need Acacia uh, we could just go with door replace valid uh, valid placement and that should be fine we'll need to use this tag right here uh, for our actual uh, project itself so let's create that tag quickly right now so we don't forget uh, we'll save that quickly and we're going to do that for all the different things but before we do that, before we go ahead and do that, let's just quickly make that tag. We'll go to our main folder and then we'll basically set up tag. And then I'm just going to 
update the name so it's like that and then what we can do is custom underscore door this is the namespace for your mod again so you'll need that for your namespace and then we're going to set that to a block tag and then we're going to select all the different types of blocks that we want to support so again this is waterlogged so we're going to need to select the air blocks and the water blocks for sure and then if you want to add any different uh, blocks it can basically replace so this one uh, I added cobwebs, all the different types of grass, so I've added those. Uh, the flowers I've added all the way up to the mushrooms. And then what else did I add? I think I added um, the vines and lily pads as well as the sweet berries. And I believe further on, what I've added is all the different kelp blocks and seagrass, as well as the sea pickles. And then we got all the nether vines and blocks there. So I needed to add those. And then I also added all the different types of coral, just the the ones with the panes and stuff, not the blocks themselves. So those, and then finally what I added was the 1.18 stuff, the um, vines for the key vines, as well as the spore blocks, and I added the roots as well. So those are the only blocks that I added and it seemed to work fine. So once you've done that, save it, and then you can basically use that in the procedure. We'll create the other tag a little bit later on. So again, going back to the procedures, uh, you'll need to set the closed one for the reversed up as well. So we'll import that, set up the re reversed one, and then you will need to update the tag again. You can probably just save the tag name from this, the one that you created, and then just copy it over to this one by selecting all and then pasting it in. Again, you'll have to update all of these different settings so we went with width of two and you want the reversed one and then the, the hinge and then the base so once you've done that for all your different right click procedures we'll carry on to the next one so I'll cut back in once I get all those these procedures set up and configured to what we need all right so once you've created all the different procedures and set them up by importing the actual procedures that I've set up already. What you need to do is go to the main procedure and then what you need to do is import the main one in the main folder. So if we go back to the right click one we have the main procedure here and then we're going to set that up. We're just going to drop that and drag it onto there and then what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and set up the rotation so it's going to start with the opened version so we're going to open north uh the north open version and then the open reversed and then we're going to go all the way down until we get uh, east south west for all the opened ones and then we're going to switch over to the closed ones which are north east south and west for both reversed and the regular ones so we need to find all those procedures in here uh, again if you don't import all of the procedures at the same time you should be roughly in the same location so we'll start with the north uh, this is actually closed so what we need to do is we need to select the open one so north open and then we need the north uh, open reversed and then we need the open east and east reversed and you're just going to basically link up all of the procedures from the ones that you just created into these, um, basically these per parts here. If you get confused on which ones, it lists all the information on the uh, help part of what one that you need. So we got the south ones done for the opened and then one lead west. And then we'll switch over to the closed, so closed north and then closed north reverse, closed east, so east and east reversed, and south, and south reversed, 
and then we have west and west reversed for closed so that one right there all right so once you've done that and linked all of them up you can click save you might get an error we'll see if there's an error or not uh, doesn't look like it had any errors, so that's good. Uh, sometimes there might be changes with the script where it will require you to go into the actual block. Um, for example, if we have the right-click event, you might have to go in here and just click Save, and then it should regenerate the file, but everything seemed to work fine because we didn't um, have any changes to the actual dependencies. So that's only really the only thing that you need to do if there um, is any dependency issues that end up changing. So that part's done. Uh, we can move on to the part with the placed procedures. So I'm just going to quickly look up what I need for that. All right, so pretty straightforward. So we're going to need to create a new folder called script. And then we're going to need four folders in here for the directions. So north, east, south, and west. So what this will do is we'll have two procedures per one of these folders. And we'll have four in this main folder for the script. And then we'll have our main procedure that we basically have the placement uh, procedures here. So what we need to start with actually first is the actual procedure for this. And now we're going to go to the main one. We're going to duplicate this. We're going to call it hinge uh, block is placed by. And then what we want to do is just checking quickly. Uh, we need direction, so north, and then we're going to copy that, and then we can just um, go ahead and plop that in the main folder for north, and then we're going to do north reversed, so we'll put an R at the end, and then we need to do that for all the different rotations, so again, east, copy that so we can just easily paste it over, and we'll put that in east. And we'll duplicate that, go east R for reversed. And then we'll go and south. And we'll put that in the script and then move that to the south folder. And then we'll duplicate south R. And then duplicate again south or west. And then we'll put that in our west folder. And then we'll duplicate that again and go R. So once we've done that, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create our main folders for those. So we're going to go north main. Uh, this will be the main thing that controls both of these rotations. So we'll set that and we'll put it in our script folder. And then we'll go into east and then we'll set that to east. main uh, we can probably just drag that over and then we'll set up west oh pardon me south and then we'll need west so west main and then we can drag both of those ones into our script folder. So these are the main procedures for the different rotations. Uh, we'll need to set up the main rotations first. So we'll start with north and then we're going to import. We're going to go to the respective folder. So this is placed by script north and then we want our north one. And then again we have some different uh, parts here. So we have the hinge block this is just a regular hinge block and this is the base one as well as we have to have our tag for the valid placement and we need to set our size as well so again if you already made the placement part what you can do is you can go to that 
part here, we'll just copy the placement. This needs to be the same tag anyway, so we'll just copy that, paste that in here. And then what we'll do is we'll set our hinge block and our base block. And then we'll save that one. Uh, we need to go back under the placements script north and then we'll need to do that for the reversed as well so reversed actually has um, a couple different blocks uh, added so we have the reverse block that we need as well as the hinge block so reversed hinge base and then our rotate or our size as well so once you've done that all everything else is configured down here so we don't need to worry about that part and then you're going to do that for all your other rotations and then we'll i'll cut back in when we have when we need to set up the the main procedures for the placement all right so once you've done all of those procedures for each one of these folders what you can do is you can go back to your main script folder and then you'll set up the actual main script folder procedure so again that's in the main script folder here We'll start with the north one, we'll import that, and then what we have to do is a couple different things. There's a couple procedures at the bottom of that that we need to actually call. Uh, those will be our directional ones. Uh, again, if it says R, then that's reversed. If it doesn't have an R, that is the non-reversed version. Um, up at the top here, we have our configuration. Uh, we need to set our hinge reversed and our hinge block. So, this is the reversed one and this is the regular one. Everything else between here is already taken care of so we don't need to actually worry about that part. All we need to do is we need to set up our north direction for um, the block placed. So north placed and this is the reversed version. So those are our two here. And then we can save that, and that's all we need to do in those procedures. So we'll again set up the east one. So this is east. And then we need to set our block. So reversed for the hinge reversed, and then the regular hinge. And then we'll need to set up the east version. So east is this one, and this is reversed. And then we can save that. And then our south version, so this will be our south version, uh, reversed again, and our hinge, our regular hinge. And then what we need to do is set up our south, so south and south. And this is our reversed version at the bottom here. And then we have our west version, so we'll need to set up the west one and then we'll basically place that down here and then we'll set up the reversed hinge and the regular hinge and then scroll down and set up the west version and our west reversed version and then finally what we can do is we can go to our player or the place by main procedure or folder and then we'll set up the procedure for that, those folders or those uh, procedures there. So we'll just import the main one here under that folder. And then we'll set up the rotations for our main script. So again, this is um, north. You'll have to kind of pay attention which ones it says on the procedure itself. Uh, it'll be north, east, south, and then west. Don't pay attention to the rotation up here. Those aren't the proper rotations for what procedure that need to be the, that need to run. Uh, it's just the reversed version of that. So uh, north is south for the entity direction. It's just the way that it needs to be. Uh, so this will be our east one, south, and then our west version. All right. So placement is officially done. I'll just make sure that everything is running compiling properly. That's good. All right, so now we can move on to the update tick. This is probably the easiest procedure procedure to actually set up. So we'll set up the update tick right now. We'll just go into the update tick folder and set up that. And literally, that's um, 
all that we need to do. Uh, that's literally everything that we need to do for the update tick folder. I'll just make sure that it compiles properly. It did, so that's fine. And then we need to go block broken. And this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So what we need to do is I'm just going to check the other thing that I have here. So we're going to need a script file or folder. I think this is, yeah, script. And in that, we're going to need actually nothing else. So we're going to need four folders. But before we do that, we're going to make our main procedure. So this will be, um, do I still, no, I don't still have it. So what we'll do is we'll create update tick. We'll just duplicate this and then we'll say hinge um, block broken and we'll copy the name and then what we'll do is we'll just create a new procedure for our main one here. So block broken and then we'll save that temporarily. We'll update that in just a second and then we're going to need our directions for this. So again we're going to need north and we're going to save that for now and then we're going to duplicate that go east south and west so once we've done that what we can do is we can import the north version so we'll need to go to our block broken and then script and then we need our north version and again we're going to need to update the hinge reversed and our regular hinge and set our size. So this needs to be set to two for what we're creating. That's gonna be consistent throughout the procedures. And there's absolutely nothing else that we need to do in this particular procedure. So once we've done that, we can just save and then we can import our East version and set up our hinge reversed and our hinge and set our size for our width and then we have our south version and then we'll set up our blocks just to make sure that they're the right ones and then set that to two and then west and then we're going to update that again so There we go. All right, so that part's done. Uh, now what we need to actually do is we need to go ahead back to our main thing, our main uh, block broken procedure. And then we're gonna import this as our main one here. Now, this is where the tag comes in for the other, for all our blocks here. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we're gonna specify what kind of door, so Acacia. Uh, you can name it whatever name that you gave the door and then blocks. So this is basically our block tag and then we want it under our own namespace. So custom doors and then we'll be using that tag for our door tag itself. So once you've done that, uh, what you can do is you can basically scroll down and select your north, east, south and west uh, procedures for the block broken and then you can basically save that and then we need to create the tag for that particular uh, procedure so not procedure we need a uh, tag we're going to update that and then we're going to go block door and we're going to set that to custom doors and we're going to set that to a block tag. Set our three different doors up for this tag. And then we can basically save that as it is. And then there you go. You have all the different things set up. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yeah, it looks like everything. So that's all the stuff that we needed to set up. Now we can basically test it. I'll go in game quickly. And then we'll um, take a look at the door itself. 
All right, so another thing that I just realized that we probably want to add to our valid block placement is snow layers. The reason for that is if we were trying to place the door down, um, it will basically just break because the snow layer is in the way. So if we place it like that, it will be supported. Um, oh yeah, and I almost forgot um, to add the global procedure set up for the main procedure here. So for your main procedure, what you need to do is select block broken and that will be the global trigger that you'll need for the uh, a block is broken. So that's the one that you need. And if you don't have that, then the door won't automatically detect everything and break. So uh, we'll stop the game and then we'll go back in and then we'll give it a test. All right. So if we place down the door again and break it, then you can see it drops the item. Now, if we were to try to open this door, it's going to kind of make a creaking sound. It's because this block right here isn't set up. Now it's the same width of the door. So it basically tests if there's a place that we can actually open it. So again, the snow layer is basically the valid placement for that. So if there's a place that it can actually open, it will basically do that. Now, if there's something in the way, it's going to try to basically just say that it's blocked. Same thing for the reverse. So that's basically that. All right. So outside of that, that's basically all there there is. Uh, when you do create your um, door, you will need to set up a recipe for it. Now you're going to target the actual main hinge block for your recipe. So you're not gonna add the recipe to your base block or the, the hinge reversed. You want it pointing to the one that you have your item with. Um, the reason for that is so it will basically go ahead and create it. Now I will cover just something quickly right now and we'll place down two doors. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, what, what version is that? Hinge reversed east. So I'll have to take a look at that procedure quickly. I'm not sure. I might have just not set it up properly. It's quite possible. Yeah, everything else seems proper. Might have not saved it when I made the changes to it um, before. So we'll just uh, quickly take a look at this rotation instead since we know that it's working. So if we go into block data, we'll do slash data get block and then the coordinate. And as you can see here, the forge data for door ID is this long string here. This basically uh, tells the door that this is basically its group. So all these blocks on this side here are two by three. Now this is its own door. Uh, these blocks here all have that same ID. Uh, this block, um, we can target any one of those. And you can see that the IDs are different just by the first two numbers here. So this is six zero and this is six seven. So all these different numbers are different. The reason for that is if it was the same number, it would be basically trying to detect if we broke this one here, it's going to try detecting if these blocks are part of the same thing. That's why we're using IDs for that. And now the IDs are really long for a reason. Uh, it's because the chances of a door basically being the same ID is like really rare. Um, it literally has all those different combinations, like 10 different combinations. So each number is basically multiplied by 10. So this would be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 and so on, so on. So the chances of it actually being the same ID is really rare. Uh, you might have also noticed that the hinge bottom block, this one here, has a custom variable called um, bottom hinge. Now this basically indicates that it is the um, very base of the door where every, all the script is going to be running from. Um, if we see on the one where we clicked on the base one here, uh, this block right here, it doesn't have that because it doesn't need it. If we were to select that block here, it's going to have it. It's going to have that one there. We also can see that there's a delay. This is just basically telling it that uh, how many time, how 
how long to delay it for. So as you can see, it will kind of take a second to right click. It will like right click and it will take a couple seconds to open. That's just to make sure that it doesn't double click and come back closed. Uh, the other thing that you can see is is open. So if we were to open this door and then set our coordinates for the block data, you can see that the is open part is properly set up to be open. So that's all configured through the script automatically. I'm going to go check that code for the east version. Um, I need to see what rotation it is. Set up the right rotation, but it doesn't seem to be placing the right blocks down for the part here. So it's probably just a variable, most likely, that I forgot to set up. So this is uh, placement. And then we'll go into script east. Uh, it should be reversed. I think it's reversed. We'll just quickly check. Yeah, it's reversed. So we're looking for a reversed version. Uh, da, 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 da. Hinge. This is the regular hinge. So it's not that one. It's probably this one here. Um... Regular East. Okay, that should be pasting it in. Based. Oh, you know what? I probably. Yep, that's what I did wrong. I forgot to set up the proper variable or the proper block for the base one. So this is the I had it set to reversed rather than the the right one there so most likely if you run into blocks that are acting like this most likely you didn't set up the um the type of block properly like in my case this was the reversed one now it's the base one that i just saved so i can save that and then we'll uh stop the game we'll regenerate the code just to make sure everything works and then we'll hop back in game and then i'll just do a quick test again while we're waiting for the game to actually start up, there are a couple things that you can configure in the right-click event for the blocks. Uh, if you go into the block version, um, we'll just let it load in. Because this is, might be relevant for some people. Uh, if you scroll down uh, to this part right here, you can see that this is set up for the wooden door close. So you can basically configure this to uh, make the door close sound and then if you scroll down a little bit further uh, we have the kind of the animation part where it's trying to close the door but it basically makes that sound like it's kind of creaking this is where all the creaking sounds come in it basically delays the sound by a couple ticks uh, just to kind of make it sound like it's like being rattled almost so basically that's what I've set up here so you can customize those sounds in the right click procedures if you want uh, especially the door ones. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would point that out because those are configurable, but um, they're not necessarily needed to be configured. So outside of that, uh, let's just quickly test the world or the door again on the east. I'm pretty sure that was the only issue that we had. Everything else seemed to work fine. So I know that's just my own um, issue because I was trying to set it up i wasn't paying attention so again if we look at that direction it's properly set up now so perfect all right so outside of that that's all that i have time for today if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out